go fly a kite. Okay. It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Mayberry. Origami is the ancient Japanese art of folding paper. Today I'm going to show you how to make an origami kite. So let's get started. It's time to fold. Okay, for this project, you'll need the following items. Some yarn. I'm using black yarn today. Scissors to cut the yarn. A ruler to measure the yarn. And some tape. Also, of course, we'll be using some paper to make the kite. Um, I'm starting with an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of purple copy paper. You could also use white or some other. I would suggest using copy paper though rather than uh, construction paper because when we get ready to decorate the kite if you choose to do so um, it's easier to color on copy paper. Also copy paper folds a lot easier than construction paper. Sometimes when you fold construction paper it, it tends to tear a bit and so that's why I'm choosing to use copy paper today. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the eight and a half by 11 inch piece of copy paper into a square so it's eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches and this extra piece I can use uh, when we get ready to make the tail for the kite and so that's when I'm going to hold on to this until later so I'm going to take my square and I'm going to turn it like a diamond and I'm going to fold the bottom to the top try to fit it inside the top and line up your edges as best you can and press down good on your folds. For this we want to have nice sharp creases and the way you do that is to press good on your folds. Okay, we take the triangle and open it back up to a, a diamond shape and turn it so that the crease is vertical. And then we're going to fold the bottom right over till it lines up down the center. Are we making a paper airplane? No, we're not making a paper airplane, but it's, it's kind of the same way that you would fold a paper airplane. We're making a kite. Okay, so that's half of the kite. And then we fold the other side, the bottom left, over to meet in the middle, meet the right side in the middle. You line it up right next to it. You want them to touch but not to overlap. And so line that up and then press down good on your folds. Okay, so this is our basic kite shape. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and make a tail for this kite. So I can set the kite aside for a minute. And I'm going to take the extra piece that I had when I made the square. And I'm going to uh, cut it into sections to make bows. Now, you could make as many bows as this paper will allow, which is going to be about eight, well, maybe a little, a little more, a little less. Um, I'm going to only make three though today. I just need three for my tail. So you can make the tail as long as you want and add as many bows as you want. But I'm going to recommend for today just using three. So I'm going to cut off three rectangles about an inch wide. And you could measure these out, but I'm just going to kind of look at it and make my best guess. So about that size, that one's a little smaller than the others, but it'll, it'll be okay. The, so you want something that's a rectangle shape that's longer than it is um, wide. Okay, and it'll, make, it'll be easier to make a bow. Now, so the rest of this I could use for something else, or, or I could make more uh, bows if I think I need to. All right, so I've got those three pieces, and now I'm going to use some yarn for the tail. And I want this yarn to be 
I'm going to use two foot. So I'm going to use the ruler here to measure that. Again, you can make it longer or shorter if you want. I just want to start off a little bit long because as you tie this, it will make the length shorten. Um, so that's why I want to start a little with a little bit more than what I think I need. So I'm going to measure there's 12 inches and I'm going to move this over like this and hold it on the end on this side and then I can see that that is another 12 so that makes 24 and that's how big I want it so now I'm going to cut the end off and again this you don't have to be exact with that but that that is a one way you can measure and know that you have two foot of yarn now you can also you can just kind of guess on that the length that's up to you but that's the way I chose to do it today so I'm done with the ruler for now so now the next part is going to be to tie the uh, bows with the yarn. So uh, there's, I could go from either direction. I think I'll start from this left side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to come in three or four inches and set that down on top in the middle. And then I'm going to take the yarn and wrap it around itself to tie a knot. Now you have to be kind of careful with this, but just in the sense that it's going to, um, it's going to want to not stay in there. I'm going to, so I'm going to have to move that paper around till it, and I'm just going to loosely pull that together, and then I can slide that paper so that the yarn is in the middle, and then I can pull it tighter once I get that positioned right. So I'm going to pull it, that's pretty much in the middle there, and now I can pull it really tight. Just like that, pull it tight, and it tears the paper a little. Notice how that's springing back out. So what I want to do, pull really tight, and then I'm going to wrap it around again, and pull it again, and make a knot there so it doesn't come undone. So that's that's one. And then once it's together like that, you can kind of, as it's gathered, I want to flatten it so it looks more like a traditional bow. So I'm just gonna press down on the sides, on the paper there, on the sides of the yarn right there. So that makes it look more like a, more of a traditional, traditional kind of a bow. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that two more times. Okay, so there's three bows on the, on a tail for the kite. Now all I have to do is attach that to the kite itself. So I'm going to bring the kite back here. And this is the front of the kite. The back of the kite has the places where it opens. So that's where I'm going to put the tail. So I'm going to open the sides here. And then I'm going to lay the yarn down in the middle on the back and put a piece of tape to fasten that together just to keep that on just like that now in traditional origami you don't use tape but for this project it works good to use tape so I'm going to use tape for this of course you could make a kite without the tail and not worry about the tail um, that's another option but I think it looks kind of neat with that tail so that's why I want to put that on there okay so I've got um, that folded back together I'm going to tape that in place and I'm also going to put another piece of tape up higher just to kind of hold this all together of course another option would be to cut out bow shapes and then just tape them to the yarn but I kind of like the idea of, of tying it on there and it's not a super hard thing to do it's a little tricky but it's not super hard so I, that I think is a good option so um, that's the kite. Now, uh, because it's color, I don't have to do any decorating, but if you would like to add a picture to the kite, you can. Also, if you'd start off with a white piece of paper instead of color, you can always just draw your design on the kite and decorate it. So here's one that I started with a white piece and then I put a, a sun peeking over the cloud in a blue sky. And so that's how I decided to decorate it. So you could also do have that option where you start with a blank piece of paper 
and then draw a design on your finished kite. Now if you do this option, um, you might want to unfold it enough to color so that you don't get this line down the center or also uncolor it before you put the tail on so that way you don't uh, have the tail underneath when you're trying to color. So that, that's a, another tip there. All right, so that's our project for today, an origami kite. If you'd like some art homework, teach someone at home how to fold a kite. Thanks for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry. I wish somebody would tell me to fly a kite all the time. <laughs>